In this video, let's discuss how you can increase your digital magazine advertising revenue just by mastering your digital edition analytics. Let's jump into my computer and discuss. Why it's so important to have the right analytical tool installed on your digital edition? First of all, it will help you understand what your readers like and whether they are spending time reading. And this will help you develop content marketing plan and come up with better and better issues in the future you know just by having an idea what content has a demand in your niche will help you become a very very successful publisher publisher then it's very important because it helps you to understand what articles are trending it can tell you uh, how long readers spend from let's say page 5 to page 9 you know that information can be very important and very valuable because there might be some article between those pages and this way you can understand that for example uh, they spend like so let's say five minutes going from page five to page nine so we assume that this was really really enjoyable and valuable content to them because re they really read it they didn't browse through but they read it you know so maybe you need to come up with more of this content or maybe come up with extension of that article so this can really help you understand what your readers want and even come up with some content ideas okay so the third thing it's very important to understand what makes your readers leave your digital publication so in the ideal world the reader should leave your publication at the end or at the end of each article maybe you didn't have time to read the whole publication so they just read one article and left but for example if they are leaving in the middle of some kind of article or some weird place just by knowing that really kind of helps you dig in and understand what is wrong so this can help you avoid these mistakes in the future right and the number four it's also very important to understand what makes your readers to subscribe well for example if you're having new visitors to your publication and they are subscribing let's say 10 new people subscribed on page 10 if you get the data you can really go on page 10 and try to understand what they find there that was so valuable that it's decided to become your subscriber and keep getting information from you you know so you need to kind of it kind of helps you to ask yourself a question what is on page 10 maybe what what did they get to get to that page 10 then you can get to more analytics and understand how much time each of them spend on your publication and what made them take this decision this good decision you know so just by understanding this you can make you can grow your subscribers list really really fast right because it must be some kind of magical thing and if you figure it out bam that's all you need right uh, so also the same goes to what makes them share what makes them subscribe what makes them download you need to have answers to all those questions and use them in your future in your future issues okay so here are three simple things that you need to know to master your numbers okay so if you have a digital edition of your magazine google analytics is, isn't always enough so you may know that google analytics is one of the most important uh, one of the most popular tools online that can help you gather data and it's mostly used for websites uh, it might work with your digital edition i'm not sure what platform you are using but with most digital edition and flipbook readers google analytics won't work that well you know or you need to customize them because most of the flipbooks are javascript application and google analytics sees that application as one page it really Google Analytics really can't tell you uh, on what page you are so uh, in most cases you're gonna see whole traffic as bounce rates so because Google Analytics will think that they only see one page and then they left you know so that's not enough data so you really need to experiment with those tools and make sure you're using the right one that will bring you the right data uh, that I mentioned before okay so step number two is to understand your digital publication numbers 
And it's really important to understand the numbers because when you understand the numbers, you can see the patterns. And when you start recognizing the patterns on your digital publication, you can build systems and scale, you know. Uh, that's how you become a successful publisher. So it's very important to know the numbers. So the important numbers to know is the overall reading time of your publication. Then we need to go deeper and understand what article were the most important. How long does it take for people to read, read each of the articles? What articles took most time to read? How many people to read each of those articles? Uh, how many people browse through all of your digital publication? What were the exit pages? What made them subscribe? What made them share your digital edition? Uh, what made them download your PDF if you have something like that? And it's really important to understand all these triggers. Step number three is to bring value to your advertisers. And I think it's crucial for every publishing business to keep your advertisers happy and make them come back for more. So how, it can, how you can keep your advertisers happy and make them come back for more by mastering your data. First of all, by mastering your data, you can deliver straight to the point reports to your advertisers on how the campaign's performing. Just, just straight to the point data, nothing fancy, you know, just, uh, for example, it, it was a static ad, maybe impressions click and engagement score. So it's like a ratio between impressions and clicks. Maybe if they ran a video campaign, you can show them number of views, number of three seconds or maybe 10 seconds views, depending on how deep you want to go. But just a number of views is okay, you know. Uh, then if they had a form on your digital publication as a campaign, maybe how many form fields they got. If you want to go fancier, maybe how many half form fields or unfinished form fields they got, you know. Uh, that's the relevant data that you want to send to your advertisers just to show that uh, you delivered what you, what you promised, right? And just by knowing this data can help you uh, have a nice conversation with your advertisers and add value to their campaigns. For example, uh, let's say your advertiser had a static ad on your digital publication and it got 100 clicks. And the advertiser is disappointed because he dis didn't have any conversions or any leads from that, you know. But you still come up and you are telling him that he got 100 clicks. So you can help him like a troubleshoot the issue and maybe uh, point him that his landing page is not okay or maybe he doesn't even have a landing page maybe he's just sending the traffic to his home page and people simply are lost to what they need to find there you know so maybe you can suggest them to build a landing page for that to increase conversion rate right so the ad itself is not always the problem you know or maybe it was an ad i don't know Maybe if you know your impression score, so for example, you know that the ad was seen like a thousand times, okay? And nobody clicked the ad, so maybe the ad is a problem. Maybe uh, the content in the ad is not catch or irrelevant or something is wrong with the ad. It's possible, right? But just knowing the numbers can help you understand those things and can help you have a professional discussion with your advertisers. Uh, and the last thing that you can do that we are doing, and this is very successful practice, you can have some kind of uh, ads catalog that you can show to your advertisers of what the advertising options they have on a digital publication. Not just media kit, but extension to that, something that they can visually see and understand. For example, what is a live form and how it works? You know, what are possibilities of that? Is it like a simple contact form or you can have a multi-step form? So if you can have some kind of catalog with all the ad types that you can deliver on your digital edition, that can be really helpful and that can really help you add, sell more ads. So these are just a few important things that can help you have a better relations with your advertisers. Okay, and finally, if you want to go deeper into this and you, you want to have some more interesting discussions, Please contact me and I would love to do that review.